We can't get you off the beach. That's your choice. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Rod Carter. So glad you could join us tonight. We're following the damage done by lightning over the weekend. One nearly claimed a life and another possible strike is to blame for heavily damaging a local school. Eight on your side's Marco Villarreal is at McLean Middle School in Brandon and he will join us in just a bit. But we begin with eight on your side's Jamel Lene in Clearwater where a man is recovering after being struck while on the beach. Well, good evening. Well, let me show you the beautiful weather. This is why tourists come here over to Clearwater Beach for this beautiful weather, the water, and most days the calm waves. But after lightning injured several people yesterday, today beachgoers took no chances. Elizabeth Hubbard is visiting from West Virginia. She and the family immediately packed up when the clouds rolled in. We know to, when a storm starts coming to get out yeah. and with the grandbabies with us. Definitely, and for safety. Lightning is no different where she's from. A lot of it is like just the streak lightning, and some of it is the big flashes in the sky. Emergency crews rushed to Clearwater Beach yesterday after eight people were injured from lightning behind Frenchie's Rockaway Grill near the volleyball courts. One man was directly hit. His whole shirt was burnt. Clearwater Beach lifeguard Donovan Burns says they quickly closed off the water when they saw storms coming. You'll hear whistles and you'll see us flagging you out of the water and we always advise you once we close the water to go ahead and and leave the beach. But he tells Ed on your side not everyone heeds the warning to get out. We can close the water we can't get you off the beach that's your choice but we always advise that you go take safe haven. A lot of people you'll be surprised a lot of people stick around when the storms are approaching and even during the storms. And because of HIPAA laws, officials can't give an update on the victim's condition. But if we do hear any additional information, we'll be sure to pass that information along on air and online. In Pinellas County, Jamelina, eight on your side.